I want to go through delayed speakers. Sometimes with a long room, you want to have a speaker at the back of the room. Now, the speaker should all face the same way. So if the front of the house is facing this way, the delayed speaker should face this way as well so that it covers the crowd at the back. Now, the thing about delayed speakers in a club or even small concert, outdoor, indoor, house of worship, etc. Um, same principle all around, but let's just say you have a, a, a front of house system and you have a long room and you have a lot of people in that room. Well, pe the high end is getting attenuated in the air. Uh, maybe there's different conditions in the winter and the summer, so you're getting different responses. Let's say high end is a problem. Anything from, I don't know, 200, 500 hertz up to the higher frequencies. You're having a problem because uh, getting those delivered to people. So they're hearing a lot of thumping bass 100 feet away from the stage, but they're not hearing a lot of high end and a lot of clarity. So you would want to put a delayed speaker, maybe with a high pass filter on it. Usually the high pass filter works very well. You have your, your front of house speaker aiming this way toward the crowd. You have your delayed speaker aiming this way toward the crowd. And you have to delay the speaker because sound travels at 1130 feet per second. So by the time this sound from the front of house gets here. This sound is already taken off. So you have to delay this one. You have to make sure that these two sounds sound in sync to the audience. That's, I'm using my hands to demonstrate, but maybe I'll just insert a graphic here. Wow, that's a better graphic than my hands. If you don't delay the speakers when they're more than, let's say, I really noticed at 25, 30 feet or more away, you're going to start noticing there is a, a delay in the speaker system. So you're going to hear the closer speaker quicker than the second speaker. So here's the formula. 0.88 times distance in feet will give you a delay in milliseconds. Okay, so 0.88 times distance in feet gives you a delay in milliseconds. So what you do is you send your front of house signal normally, then through an auxiliary output or a parallel EQ output or some other auxiliary or send from the board, you send that through an EQ because you want to be able to put a high pass filter and then you send that through the delay or you can send it through the delay and then the EQ depending on your setup and you program the delay based on the results of the math equation. So 0.88 times 100 is 88 milliseconds. So you would program your, if you put the speaker 100 feet away from the front of house, you would program it to 88 milliseconds. Now you could use the math formula or you could just clack a couple of sticks in front of a, a microphone and get somebody to adjust the delay at the front of house till they don't hear a delay anymore. It really makes a big difference. You don't want people to pay attention to a speaker that's close to them. You want them to pay attention to the front of house. So that's why it's important to delay a speaker system. And uh, I think I'm going to throw a quick video up in the next few days of the actual sound of that. Okay, that's good for now. First thing we did, what is the first thing we did? We took an auxiliary, auxiliary four, that's going to our delay unit. We calculated 44 milliseconds, we'll get into the math. The delay unit comes out, quarter inch, going into the DI box. DI box is now going out, all the way, oh, people in the way, <laughs> back here, thank you. We have the input from the DI box. And we turn the level up to about halfway, we'll establish gain structure in a minute, and that, therefore we have a delayed speaker system because between this and the front is about 50 feet. So this is the front house, now switch, uh, after your talk for a few seconds, switch between delayed and no delay. So it's coming through front house, plus it's going through the delayed speaker at the back. So switch now. Now is it delayed? Now it's delayed. So that's the difference between the delayed speaker and the non-delayed speaker. Can you switch back? Switching back between delayed speaker and non-delayed speaker to hear the difference in the speaker. 